So, who are we? Well, as humans, we were created with the humble dignity of the image of God. We were created by God himself. But if we're honest, we are guilty of rebelling against God, of turning away from him, of putting ourselves at the center. We can't get back to God on our own, but through Jesus, through his death on the cross, we can now be part of God's kingdom. We can be God's children forever. We are accepted despite being unacceptable. We now have the opportunity to live in obedience of God, to live according to his word and to know and have a relationship with the living God. But most importantly, we have the opportunity to reorientate our life with Jesus Christ at the centre. We can live to glorify him and love other people. So if we look in the mirror of the world and we look in the mirror of God's word, how does that change our identity? Well, if we look in the mirror of the world, we have a distorted picture of ourselves. We have a, a, a view which is fluctuating depending on the circumstances. We depend on comparisons with other people. We have a feeling of insecurity. We need other people and we're threatened by them. We're worried and, and often unsure about who we are. Our life revolves around me and my importance, my glory. And often our focus is on me, on uh, my performance, on what I do and what I achieve. Compare that then to the mirror of God's word. Well, if we look at God's word, we see a true picture of ourselves, One of restored dignity in the image of God. We have a stable view of ourselves. Our identity doesn't uh, depend upon the comparisons of others, but it depends on what God says about me. We no longer need to have a feeling of insecurity because we are secure knowing that we can never fall out of the love of God. And because of our security, because of our security and our identity, we are free to love and serve other people. We can be utterly assured of who we are. Our life can revolve around Jesus and our focus can revolve around God and all that he has done and continues to do for us. But the question is, how do we move from one column or to the other? Today, we're going to be thinking about how to develop a personal action plan for moving our identity from the mirror of the world to the mirror of God.